Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the OBS changes in the newest beta, which is 30.2. I'm currently recording with it, by the way, except, well, the number didn't get bumped for some reason. It is what it is. And it has a lot of notable changes for NVIDIA users and AMD users and Intel users, I think, if I'm reading my notes here correctly, which I hopefully should be. So let's start off with NVENC AV1 and shared texture support. So OBS Studio 30.2 adds AV1 encoding for NVIDIA GPUs. Now this is a native NVENC encoder with support for NVENC AV1. It also adds uh, Linux shared texture support for NVENC QuickSync and VAAPI encoders. So, well, yeah, once again, that's for both AV, that's both for AMD and Intel users, which is really good. Now, the thing about this is Windows has had this for a while, and it's the reason why all my videos look super crisp and clear on Linux. And the minute that this was implemented into Master and Merged, I was using it. I was using it before it was merged. So this is why all my videos look super ridiculously clear and not AMD-fied. On Linux. Now, the next one is Enhanced RTMP and FLV Multi-Track Audio and Video. So the new version replaces the old metadata-based VOD track with support for Enhanced RTP, or sorry, RTMP and FLE Multi-Track and Video. I have no idea what that means, but if that's something for you, that's really good. But HEV support to WebRTC output is also a thing, and again, I've never used it, so I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is. Hybrid MP4 output format. So it's an it's it's a hybrid version. It's experimental. And what it does, it combines the fault to tolerance of MKV with MP4, which is kind of cool. So uh, if you ever record it with fragmented MP4, it fragments itself. So if anything happens to your system, uh, the clips are there and you can, can just tin continue off where you continue off pretty much. MKV does the exact same thing. And honestly, it makes hybrid MP4 completely pointless, but people don't want to let go of MP4 for some reason. I don't know why, but it's there. This also has support for inserting chapter markers, which are supported for the most uh, video play. Yeah, it basically for editing uh, and hotkey support. It is somewhere in here. I don't exactly know where, but it allows there it is add a chapter marker. That's pretty cool. Even though, you know, keybinds don't work on Wayland. I still find that pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, next is multi-track video streaming. So it's something that they added to Twitch and uh, it basically means you can support, you know, multiple video streaming. Yeah, I don't know. That's more of a Windows thing. Yeah, platforms and GPUs is planned for the future of OBS Studio release. OK, other noteworthy changes include closed caption support for HEVC and AV1, unified pipe wire window display capture into a single screen capture source, improved free type 2 text source performance, and vanked decoder support for encoded direct show sources, and support audio only and video only uh, WIPs outputs. I don't know what those are. It introduces a new compositable theme system that simplifies theme creation. Yeah, so pretty much you're able to create your own theme now, which is pretty cool if you wanted to. If you don't like the current themes that are here, you can just take them and modify them to whatever you want. So yeah, so there's the NVENC support, and I always record on slowest, best quality. And as for streaming, I also stream in AV1. Some people ask me that, slowest, best quality, because now it really doesn't matter, and there's no really performance loss, which is great. And I also showed you the hotkey section for hybrid MP4s. And other than that, I can't find any of the other stuff. But uh, yeah, OBS got a new look, too. Check that out. Look at these big old bars. They look really nice. And honestly, I like the fact that they've positioned everything properly. It looks pretty neat. Anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.